growing up, when I was just a young boy, my parents told me that there is one world. Even when I went to school as a teenager, my teachers told me that there is one world. But when I grew up, with my experiences in this world, I discovered that that was a lie. There is two worlds, the world of the able and the world of the unable. Today, I want to make an epic adventure to the other side. We will go together and hear and learn and experience from the other world, the world of the disabled. But as we go, we must remember disability is not inability. story that many will not press him. We are living in the world, but two separate worlds. We 
want to hear from his wife how he gets the courage, how he manages to sustain himself, although he's blind. I am Bryce Motu. My name is Leo. I was born in 1992 in Dili. Growing up as a kid I had many dreams and one of my dream was to become a doctor. I was always excited to go to school in order to achieve my dreams. We were born six children and I am the eldest. In my teenage life suddenly I lost my vision. My parents took me to different hospitals but my eyes could not get better. My parents were so frustrated with my condition and they spent everything they had to treat me but all was in vain. As a young teenager my dreams was shuttered and I was left blaming God for the tragedy. In spite what was happening to me I never stopped dreaming although my course had changed dramatically. I had to join the blind center to get training in different areas in life. How to survive, mobility movement, English course, and business. different instruments. I never gave up on myself so I married and have two children who I look after. Every day I have to wake up and go out to bring home for my family. I have to go out and sell cigarettes, phone cards, and SIM cards in the streets in order to get some income to look after my wife and children. In any condition of the day I have to go out in the rain, in the sun or in the cold. I do this because nobody will help me if I sit at home. If I get more money I need to send some to my parents because they are already old and my dad is chronically sick as well. I have many challenges, 
Sometimes I get robbed on the way as I go to sell or people give me false money and take my things for free because I cannot see. In spire of all this, I keep doing it because there is no other options, I cannot give up on life. I am proud of myself that I still have life and I am dreaming for big things. Many are now gone but I am still alive, this is what keeps me moving.